CN does such a great job of uh, closing the gap between indigenous and non-indigenous -indig students uh, by helping these young people to uh, finish school, etc. or go to uni. And here we are with an, an X-Mentee who's done so well um, through the N organization and basically um, our friendly uh, neighborhood XMNT with us here today. Brandon Alexander is a local hip-hop Illawarra artist. And so basically when I first met um, Brayden, he was kind of like doing a bit, bit of rapping and you know thinking of becoming a rapper or something like that. And now today we're just gonna ask Brayden, you know, how far he's made in terms of progress with that and and where where exactly he's he's gotten so far in his life and, and his career in, in music. So Brayden, um, when I first met you as, as a mentor of AIM, you were a mentee of AIM. Yes. This yes. was back in 2014, right? I'd say so, yeah. Yes. Oh, so way ago. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you, back then you, you wanted to be a rapper. That's right. right. That's right. That was um, a dream. Yeah, yeah. So, so now it's 2017. Um, how are things looking for you in, in terms of music? Uh, well, just started the company. I mm -hmm. beats in producing and recording. So, that's all just uh, through the instrumentals and then recording different artists, getting them in. I also record over my own beats as well, just as a rap, just get out there as well. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, started the clothing line, Agro Beats. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically how it's going. I want to open a studio one day. That's the that's the new dream now. So as as a um, as as a producer who makes beats and, and who started his own independent business. Yeah. Um, like, what did you have to do to to get a, a your own clothing line brand? I basically just get people behind it behind the movement. So people that like my beats wanted to rep it and prove that like I was I was doing this in Wollongong because I feel like I'm the only one at the moment that's producing. There's all these rappers and no producers. So I basically just started saying if I bring a clothing line out, who would wear it? Got a lot of feedback and now I'm selling my own clothing line. So that's that's how that started. Nice. Now could you stand up for a second yeah, to yeah. show us the shirt? So this is the clothing line I have with beats. Back as well. Yeah. And um, so can you tell us what, what got you into making beats? What, when did you start on that? Um, the reason I started is because I was, when I was rapping, there was no one making beats. I had to get them all offline and you couldn't get your own custom beat, basically, mm -hmm. without, without paying top dollar for it. And now I have all these rappers coming into my studio asking for beats and they're helping produce the beats as well. So it's their custom beat for them. They got their own style. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a better way of living. That's why I started doing it. I can make my own custom beats now. Yeah. And so just um, for the fans of hip hop music and, and all the people you know that get excited and everything, can you please tell us, like, can you give us a sneak peek or like, tell us at least three local hip hop, like Illawarra hip hop artists that you are making beats for right now? Uh, we've got Murs Boy, he's a Albion Park rapper, crazy rapper, I've done a couple songs with him. We've got JT, who's a Dapto rapper, crazy good. And I've just started on this new guy. Salty MC, so there's three people you gotta watch out for because they're, they're making music and they're gonna be big, I'm telling you now. Oh yes, did you tell me you're making a beat for, um, what's that guy? What's his name? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name, I'm trying to remember his name. Um, he's, he's from Wollongong. Uh, what's this guy's name? Seth. 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 Are you All making right. beats for Seth? No, not at, not at this stage of time. Yeah. We're on books about it, trying to get in with Seth right now. He's a crazy good rapper, and um, so Seth, if you're watching, hit me up. I want to make a beat for you. Nice, nice. And um, oh yes, yes. Oh, I've done another question. Um, so like, where do you see yourself like, in terms of producing beats and the business side of things with the music? Like, with how well you've gone so far now, like, where do you see yourself ending up in in maybe five years from now? With, with the dream, right? The dream right now is to open a studio. So okay. open a full blown studio under Agro Beats. And um, just get different people, rappers, singers, you know, voice recordings even, just in there, and then I can start really making making music, I guess. Nice. Yes, yeah, so. yes. So, how much do you do you reckon, like, in terms of if we had if I was to start my own like a record label, or studio, or whatever? Yeah. How much in terms of finance do you, would you reckon would I need to like back myself up or? Um, definitely need a loan. Let's just I say that. Like, Definitely need to get some money behind it. Um, when we started clothing line, I needed fifteen hundred to start. 
Just a side clothing line, so. Um, yeah. It's expensive, you've got to spend money to make money. Um, what else, what else can I think of? Um, okay, so in terms of your fans and uh, people out there that are kind of, you know, just wanting to check you out or whatever, yeah. what can you tell them about any upcoming music and things that you've produced? Well, I, pre I make daily beats, so beats are always on my YouTube channel, which is Agro TV, A W G R O E TV. Um, then I got a Facebook page and Twitter, which is Agro Beats, all one word, um, and Instagram as well. So you can see all beats up there, uh, all the collabs I'm doing, all that. So that's all on social media, basically. And just out of curiosity, who do you reckon would be your biggest inspiration in hip hop music? Listen, Esso. Listen, Esso. Listen, Esso. Hundred percent. Yeah, they're the people that like let me realize that there is Aussie hip hop culture. I never knew Aussie hip hop existed until I uh, heard of Listen Esso. So they're the people that got me doing it. So. Okay. In terms of what's happening in Sydney and uh, let's say Newcastle, Wollongong, or yeah. you know what? No, no. In terms of what's happening in South and Sydney and Wollongong, uh, out of all the MCs you know that are like trying to come, like coming come up, up and all that, like Husky Ben or Seth or whoever you can think of that's top notch up there. Right, who do you think is the best like underground MC right now that's on, on, that's coming up? Um, I'd have to say Seth. I've never I've never personally met Seth, but I've heard his music and he's crazy. He can freestyle for hours. He's he knows what he's doing and he's someone you got to watch out for for sure. Well, there you go, Seth. Um, okay, okay, guys, that's pretty much it from Agro Beats, Graham Alexander. Um, and if fans are looking for you at any time, what's your Instagram? Instagram is agrobeats, A W G R O E B E A T S, and then uh, Facebook's the same thing. So hit me up there. If you want to buy a T-shirt, there is no website for T-shirts just yet because we are working on new merch as well. So we've got beanies coming out, we've got hoodies, uh, long sleeve shirts, and we've got the white T-shirts in this brand as well. So they're all on my Facebook page at the moment. Just hit me up there. I'll send you directly to the new website and buy T-shirts, hoodies. Sweet. Oh, and one last thing. Um, if there's something that you could say to your, like, to, to, to the managers or people that work at Animal that are working there now, um, you know, as, as someone who's like a success story from AIM, what, what, what do you reckon that would be? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you? Thank you so much to AIM, hey. Is that AIM? AIM got right. me out there. AIM is the one that opened me up to hip hop and um, made me realise that you can make a career out of it, so.